It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us on HBO. On this video, we're going to be taking a look at a recent interview Pedro Pascal did with Brandon Davis from comicbook.com where he talked about The Last of Us and production for The Last of Us and also he talked a little bit about Joel's journey in the video game. Now there is something extremely interesting about a small thing that Pedro Pascal talks about in that interview. Now I don't think that it's what it seemed like but I can't think of what else it could be. You're probably confused so stay tuned we'll be right back and I'm gonna play the clip with a snippet of that interview and I'm gonna let you guys know what part of the interview I'm talking about. There is a possibility that it could be a unintentional not spoiler but unintentional giveaway about an early death in the TV adaptation of The Last of Us. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break this down. Alright, as always, before we jump into this, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right in. So, Brandon Davis from comicbook.com was interviewing Pedro Pascal recently about his recent movie with Nicolas Cage and in that interview they started talking a little bit about the production of The Last of Us and Joel Miller's journey from The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2 and there was something very interesting that Pedro Pascal said in the interview. So I'll let you guys listen to a snippet from that interview which is coming from comicbook.com and then we're going to talk about whether that was an unintentional spoiler. So let's take a look at the interview. The Last of Us, is it, what's that set like? Is it just covered in clickers and spores? Like what is that, how immersive is that for you? It is covered in clickers and spores and the elements of uh, Cal, uh, Alberta and, and we're having an amazing time. It's totally harrowing and um, I don't know if we'll make it, but it'll be completely worth it. It is amazing and I'm having an amazing time. I don't know if I'll make it. Right, well, do you, do you know what happens to Joel? Oh, I do. I do. I do know what happens to Joel. I may not even make it to that. <laughs> Well, dude, it's a pleasure speaking to you. I can't wait to see the movie tonight. Enjoy. All right, so as you heard, most of it was pretty normal. He was talking about production for The Last of Us and how much like the game it is and how it's filled with clickers and everything and how it encompasses the environment from The Last of Us video game, but also the environment from Alberta, Canada, which is where they're filming for The Last of Us. Just a quick note on the side. For those of you that don't know, I'm also in Alberta. I'm actually in Calgary, which is one of the main cities that they filmed for The Last of Us HBO adaptation. I visited the set a few times when they were filming and I have a couple videos on that. So if you're interested, make sure to go check out those videos on the channel. Back to the topic at hand here. So most of what he was saying was pretty normal, nothing too interesting or anything that gives us any clue about what to expect but at the very end he was asked about how it ends for Joel in the video game referring to his spoiler alert death scene from The Last of Us Part 2 but he said I don't even know I'm gonna get to that what does he mean if we take it at face value then it could have been an unintentional spoiler that his death or Joel's death may come in earlier in the TV adaptation. Hence why he won't get to his actual video game death because he would have died earlier. And that could have been what he meant, but it didn't seem like he stopped himself from saying what he said. And it doesn't seem like when he said what he said, he was like, oh shoot, did I give away a spoiler? You know what I mean? It felt pretty normal. He said it in a nonchalant way. So I highly doubt that that's what he meant. But I can't really think what else he could have been talking about. Like he said, I don't think I'm going to get to that. Referring to his video game death. What else could that be? It could potentially be him saying that they won't get to that. Meaning they'll skip that death. But 
that may be a reach. But I am interested to know everyone's thoughts and opinions because I'm honestly not sure. It doesn't make a lot of sense for me for him to have said or spoiled that he's gonna die earlier, especially with the way he said it and how it didn't really seem like it was a pretty big deal to no one, like not even Brendan Davis. I don't think it's that, but I can't really think of what else it could be. But if you understood and if you have other ideas about what that meant or what he was talking about, let me know in the comment section below. But that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.